What's up guys? I want to talk to you guys about becoming a full-time trader tonight. Instead of doing our typical um, you know, market review video, um, as many of you guys know, I'm in the process of changing offices this week. So computers are kind of down, my charts are down until tomorrow. So I figured, you know, since I can't get into the chart review, tonight would be a good night to discuss something a lot of you guys ask me and a lot of things that, you know, guys who aren't even members ask me, you know, just on, you know, the Instagram daily. You know, and that's, you know, questions about becoming a full-time trader. So, I'm definitely going to um, do something in the next few weeks or so. And we're really going to dive deep into this. And I'll kind of tell you guys a bit more about that in the next few days. But what I want to discuss tonight is just, you know, becoming a full-time trader. And what the advantages, disadvantages are. And what you should know. So, you know, obviously, the average person who trades stocks, you know, Unless they're just doing it, you know, for a side income or, you know, for shits and giggles, that's one thing. But, you know, for many of us who trade stocks, you know, the dream is to make, you know, that passion of trading a full-time job. Now, is it possible? Definitely. But is it easy? No, not at all. So, briefly, you know, what are the advantages of trading full-time? And the first three advantages to me personally are freedom, freedom, and freedom. So, you know freedom in what aspects you know for one obviously you know the obvious one is you know if you are trading full time you're likely you know you're working for yourself there's freedom in that so you have the freedom you know when you trade and work for yourself you have the freedom of creating your own schedule you know you can trade from wherever you want you can do it from home if you don't want to trade on a given day you don't have to it's much different than having you know a typical 9 to 5 job where you know you basically have to report you know certain time in the morning finish your shift and head home and you know repeat the next day and for some people that's good you know for others they kind of you know desire to kind of call the shots in their life and I've always been that way personally you know I don't take direction well and I kind of just like to you know have that freedom to do my own thing so personally for me you know what I love about trading the most is you know quote the lifestyle not for me you know that's not eating ca caviar you know, on my rooftop, you know, sweet. For me, it's just a freedom to, you know, hey, if it's 12 o'clock, you know, in the afternoon and I want to go to the gym, I have no one saying, you know, you can't do that. I simply hop in my car, I go do what I want. So it's about freedom, guys. You don't have a boss to report to. You can do it from home. You can get your laptop, drive somewhere pretty. You can drive to Starbucks. Just freedom. So you know, there's freedom from a life lifestyle perspective, but the other obvious thing is that, you know, if you reach a level of consistency, you know, in skill with your trading, you reach a point of, you know, financial freedom, which really is the end goal for all of us. But those two things come together to make, you know, trading full time so attractive. It's, you know, the money and, the you know, the freedom to call, you know, your call your own shots and basically, you know, live life on your terms. You know, the other advantage is that, you know, if trading is your passion, and you get to the point where you can do it full time, it's an amazing feeling because you're literally waking up every day focusing only on, you know, what you would be focusing on anyway. You know, take for example, a lot of guys, you know, their passion might be cars. You know, they might like to detail cars. Unless they have a business, you know, that is centered around detailing cars, you know, they got to wake up, they got to go to their nine to five. And then when they go home, you know, on the weekends or something, they get to spend some time, you know, fooling around with their passion. For me, you know, trading is literally my life. You know, I wake up thinking about it. My days are spent, you know, trading, looking at the markets. And now, of course, you know, with focus trades, I'm basically just 24-7, you know, focused on trading. No pun intended. Bang. But that's the other advantage, you know. Freedom, lifestyle freedom, financial freedom. You get to practice your craft daily. And, of course, you know, I know a lot of you guys follow John Carter. He's kind of like, you know... You know, the idol for us in terms of, you know, trading legends, there truly is, you know, unlimited income potential. You know, if you get your capital to a certain point and your skill set to a certain point, you know, you reach John Carter level, you know, where on a good trade you're making twenty to forty thousand dollars a day. You know, to me that's freedom. So, in a nutshell, those are the advantages. Now, the disadvantages are that one, you're completely on your own. Again, no boss that's a benefit. What comes with that though? You're on your own in the sense of, you know, if you're not making profits, you're not making an income. You are 
literally completely on your own if trading is your only source of income and that's something i'll touch on you know in a few minutes but keep that in mind guys you're literally or on your own you know you're not going to be getting your weekly paycheck there's no guaranteed stability so that's something you really got to you know keep in mind when you start throwing around the idea in your head of you know i want to be you know a full-time trader you know realize that it's literally you against the market and it's really that simple and that's something you know we'll discuss in a few weeks in a little more detail or a lot more detail but just please keep that in mind you know you become a full-time trader it's you know it's you against the world really and the other thing to keep in mind is the taxes now taxes are different in every state um you know every country tax brackets that all changes but you know just just keep in mind obviously you know if you make fifty thousand dollars of trading profits in a year it's likely that they're going to be short-term profits and you know and they're going to get taxed as such this is probably not accurate it's different for everybody every state like i said but you know let's just say you make fifty thousand dollars in profits you might pay you know anywhere from who knows i don't know fifteen thousand dollars more of taxes so you know, keep that in mind you don't you don't get to avoid taxes by being a trader it's it's the same you know it gets it gets taxed as ordinary income and it is what it is now you know of course you can't avoid taxes so it's not really something to you know completely stress about but it is you know part of the game you know a, a good chunk of your profits just like a good chunk of any income is going to go to uncle sam and nothing you can do about that except tax evasion and i wouldn't suggest that now the other thing to keep in mind is the stress like i said you're on your own you know you go a few you, know, you go three four weeks without booking any good profits regardless of your trading for that month you know at the end of the month you're gonna have bills and those bills have to get paid and you can't avoid that so i'm sure you guys can already see you know whether you've been trading for you know a few months or a few years now i'm, I'm guessing for the majority of you you know trading isn't your full-time job and you can already see how stressful it is you know anytime you know money is attached to performance it's a very stressful environment now imagine if you're you know your well-being and your family's well-being and you know paying the bills and all that good shit was literally you know dependent on your trading you know that's going to bring a whole new level of stress so you have to be prepared for that so just a quick recap advantages are freedom you're living your dream you're living your craft and there's huge potential disadvantages are you're on your own you're not getting your weekly check you know from the company you work for there's no guaranteed stability you are going to give back, you know, a good portion of your profits, you know, through taxes. And of course, unless you, you know, can reach a point where you can control it well, stress can definitely play a factor. So you want to become a full-time trader. What does it take? The first thing, obviously, is capital. If you have, you know, $5,000 to trade with, <laughs> you know, a lot, a lot of guys aren't very honest about this, you know, in their mentorship programs or Instagram or whatever it is, guys. You can't be a full-time trader with a few thousand dollars. So let's just do the simple math. Now, I know a lot of us focus on options. Options trading offers, you know, the potential for some crazy, crazy risk-reward situations. But let's just do, you know, a basic example. Let's say you have $100,000 of capital, which is a good chunk of trading capital, you know, especially for young guys. That's that's a shitload of money. So I'm going to guess most of you don't have a hundred grand to trade with. Say you got a hundred grand. Say you have a great year. And now putting aside options, just just you know basic math here. You have a hundred thousand dollars of capital, and you have a fifty percent return over the course of a year. You know outside of options trading, that's that's huge. Like that's an insanely crazy year, a fifty percent return. You know on capital. So if you have a hundred thousand dollars, fifty percent return over the course of twelve months is fifty thousand dollars in profits. So right there, that's basically your income. Fifty thousand dollars. Now you got to go pay taxes on it. So let's say you're left with thirty-five thousand dollars. Just being realistic, you know, thirty-five thousand dollars is probably you know less than you would make at you know at, at your job. You know, if you're an adult, you graduate college, you're getting paid probably you know forty, fifty thousand dollars a year. So you're getting paid less from that by you know getting a fifty percent return on a hundred percent capital after taxes so 
you know, don't fall for everything you see on Instagram. You know, become a full-time trader and travel the world. It's it's tough to drive, you know, a Ferrari and, you know, travel to Hawaii making 35 grand a year. So you got to keep that in mind, guys. You know, it does take, you know, a good amount of capital and it does take a lot of sacrifice. You know, it's it's different in different situations. If you're a teenager or you're in your 20s and you have, you know, you're living at home, you have limited bills, then of course, you know, then you can be a full-time trader and it's a lot different. You know, your mortgage, your, you know, your kids, all that stuff, you know, isn't going to be tied to your trading. You can actually just, you know, keep most of your profits in your trading account if you're 21 and living at home and, you know, don't really have many bills. So that's, that's different. If you're, you know, you're a little older, you have a family, you know, you're paying for a house, you got a mortgage, you got monthly bills, electricity, water, heat, all that stuff. You know, it's going to require a little bit more to survive, you know, off of trading profits alone. Now, of course, you know, options offer big, you know, potential, but, you know, don't get ahead of yourself and don't fool yourself to think that, you know, you have $5,000 and, you know, you're going to trade full time and make, you know, big six figures and live the life everyone dreams of. It, you know, it takes more capital and it takes more time than that. And to touch on that, what I really suggest if you're thinking about becoming a full time trader is to have a second source of income. It doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be time consuming. It could even be, you know, a few hundred bucks a week. But having a second source of income is so huge for so many reasons. And we'll discuss this more, um, you know, in a few weeks when we get together. But, you know, for example, I have a few different things that bring in money each week. One, obviously, is focus trades. You know, and I'll be transparent. Every member who signs up, you know, I get $100 right into my PayPal account, right into my checking account. You know, so if I get a few members a week, I book a few, you know, mentoring sessions a week. That's money coming in, and that's good from two, you know, two different standpoints. The first reason that's good is that that covers any losses. You know, so I can take a three hundred dollar loss, you know, on a trade and say, hey, you know what? Not the end of the world. You know, I got a few members to sign up this week. A few things worked out. I got some money coming in. It covered that loss. So when you have, you know, a second source of income coming in, it can kind of, you know, buffer some of your losses and give you a little bit more of a cushion. Now, the true, you know, good thing about that, if you're disciplined and, you know, and you live frugally and, you know, you're just dedicated to the big picture is that if you have money coming in from, you know, a second source of income, you can just plow that into your trading account. And, now, and here's the best way to grow your account quickly is to, one, reach a level of, you know, where you're consistently profitable, but two, is to develop a discipline to continuously wire money into that account you know and that's the quickest way to start the financial compounding process you know constant returns plus constant contributions to that account and that just kind of adds fuel to the fire and grows it even further so you know i would definitely suggest having you know some kind of secondary source of income before you even consider becoming a full-time trader and like i mentioned before it's going to be different in everybody's situation age you know um how old you are, how much capital you have, living expenses, responsibilities, personality, all those things kind of go into it. But at the end of the day, it is possible, but it's just something that you have to work up towards. Don't expect to be trading for, you know, six months and all of a sudden, you know, you're going to be trading from Starbucks making a killing. It's just unrealistic. So, you know, the better your chances of success and, you know, the better your chances of becoming a full-time trader Look at it realistically in the beginning, you know, set yourself up for some realistic views towards it. And, you know, it's possible, guys. It definitely is possible. But, you know, don't fall for this bullshit hype that you see on Instagram, you know, the Forex cults, all that stuff. It's, you know, it's just good marketing. It takes capital. It takes, you know, a good skill set, patience. Um, you know, it takes big balls to go out on your own and, you know, to be the man. And, you know, everything is on your shoulders. And with that comes, you know, the need for a lot of confidence. You must have a structured plan. And you also must be a very, very, very disciplined trader. You know, you can't be flying off, you know, the cuff and, and straying from your strategy. So, I figured we would jump into all that tonight. In the next few days, you know, I'll kind of make an announcement of what I'm thinking in terms of, you know, what we can do to, you know, really dive into what it takes to become a full-time trader. And other than that, we'll be back to, you know, business tomorrow, 
new office should be up, computer should be up, internet, and I'll be back to the nightly reviews, the focus list, and we'll get back in action. All right, guys.